Hi guys, welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry, and this is just a really quick and, and you know, just out of off the cuff video. I haven't even planned it. I was doing this and I thought, you know, what the heck, why don't I just show the guys what I'm doing? You know, guys and girls. I keep saying guys, but I refer to both sexes just in case you're wondering. Anyway, um, simple Phillips screws, okay? I'm, I'm taking this off and I'm upgrading the hard drive. Phillips screws are the ones that are the star shaped, okay? Uh, for those of you that do not know, simple Phillips screwdriver, small enough. You want to do all the screws, zip, 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 all the way around. Just make sure you keep them in order and you know, because uh, there's longer ones that come out, which are near the bottom ends here. But I just lay it out in the same manner that it comes out. So see how I've got all that? Side, bottom, 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 side, top. Same deal as that, so that way I know. Then you'll hear these two popping clips, which I've already popped, so you won't hear that. They go pop, pop, and it opens up, okay? I just sort of pop that up there and rest it and this is what's inside the guts of a 17 well this is the guts of a 17 inch MacBook Pro um, and what we're doing is we're changing this little device here I'm going to put a one terabyte in here personal reasons as well uh, I like privacy and the one thing about the privacy issue is that if something goes wrong and I need to take this in for a warranty repair I do need to return it with the original parts that I purchased it with if something goes wrong I put in the original that's blank, it doesn't have photos of my little one and pictures of my family and whatever other personal things that I have and friends and things like that and I return it as it was stock standard and if it if I put the original in and it starts working then I know it's a hard drive so I'll just get another one but if it isn't well then at least I don't return it with my private stuff on there pretty simple to do you just unscrew these here there's another couple of Phillips screws which I'm doing now and unscrew that one okay. this whole thing should just pop out I'll leave the screws in there still and then you've got this flap here lifts out nice and easy nothing crazy and then that would unplug from there and you'll put the new one in I just got the uh, drive this is it as you can see a one terabyte about the same, exact same size. Uh, purchased it for around 125 bucks. Um, and this is the old one. Now, just to sort of let you know how it came out, really simple. After we've screwed, uh, unscrewed them, there's just the uh, plugs here. And this was connected to them. And we just slid that out. Just to sort of give you an idea, I'll pop that. Like that and just sort of show you, because I did that before I started recording. So this was sitting in there. And then we just sort of, slowly slowly pulled it out and it unplugged pretty simple as you can see not hard okay now the new one so new hard drive here fresh unopened ah don't you love that always love opening brand new fresh things and here we are always a good idea is to be grounded and never touch under here okay you don't want to short anything out believe it or not our body can hold up to 5000 sometimes even more uh, volts Okay, and it's not the volts that kills you in electricity, it's usually the amps that kill you. Um, but the volts can give you a pretty nasty shock. I mean, look, high enough it can do some damage. You want to ground yourself, which means touching a piece of metal or if you have a, a grounding strip or, or a connector that you can put to your body. I've got grounding tags, but I'm not using them. But just touching anything metal will generally ground you and stop you from having that electricity. That ele electricity, you might have felt it in your life. Uh, it's usually a zap. You'll get. You, you've probably done that when you've, you know, taking your clothes off and you've had some kind of type of material in the clothes where it gives you a whole bunch of static and you hear these crackling zapping and you get the feeling with it. Okay, that's been put on there as you can see. See this bit here? They're empty. They're empty. These bolts. They need to be filled. So basically, when you're swapping it out with the original, which this is the original. Take out those little screw bits on the side here. Let me just pop the camera down just so I can show you guys these bits here. They're hex screws, okay, so they're not your standard, um, you know, sort of screw type. Uh, so I won't work with the Phillips. I'm bringing it in a bit closer so you guys can get an idea what I'm talking about. Sorry about my shaky hands. Sometimes if you don't have this type of uh, bit, so you can unscrew them, you can use a flathead if it's big enough and you can just get it in and it's not tightened in too hard, you can get them out. But you will need to take these out and put them on the other hard drive, which is here. And once you put them on, this will allow it to clip and sit in so that it's not all shaky and it comes loose. As I explained, 
and that will help you unscrew and get these little bits off. You need to put these little bits in to the other hard drive just so that it can sit, uh, allow it to sit in the uh, Mac. If you don't do that, it'll wobble around and it's not a good thing, it may break. And a 101 mistake, never touch the bottom of this like I just did. Try and stay away from, from it because of static in your body. You could damage the circuitry there, or the electronics. Pop that down gently and with this one you just pretty much pop them all in there. Okay, so we're back and I've screwed them all in as you can see in the new drive there as well. So now we just take the connector, um, just pop that in, just align it with the notch. It should go in fairly easily like it did before. Pop, pop, there we go. And now this is the best part. As you can see, there's those two red bits there. That's what gets fed into them from these ends. So you pretty much just put it in that way. And then you'll see there's a half notch. I don't know if you can see that on these ends there, down the bottom. There are half notch. And this just sits on them. And this is the other half of the bit which actually holds it down. See? So basically, just popping them over there, and then just screwing it in, and that should do the job. There you go. And that's it. I pretty much just put the cover back on. That's not going nowhere now. That's just going to sit there without a problem. And really, the next step is you just sort of pop everything back on, and it should clip. Uh, the way you pop it back on is generally. I'll just show you now anyway, so you've got an idea. So we'll lift this up, just so that you know about the... So as you see, I've just sort of lined it all up, nice. If you're just in the middle here, about the middle of the, uh, uh, the, the laptop, the back, just press down. Hear that? Click, click. They're the two clicking pins that there is about here. Just got to feel your way around, just gently press down your phone click. Then you just put in all the bolts and you're pretty much done. So it's that simple. And that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like what I've done here, give me a thumbs up. If not, sorry, did my best. Um, if you've got any questions, please comment um, and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. I really will on this because uh, I'm sure there are some more, there'll be questions. <laughs> um, if you've got any ideas or anything you can add to this that I may have missed or I'm not sure of, because sometimes that happens, please share. I really would appreciate it and so would everyone else that's uh, checking this video out. Uh, just share it in the comments and also if you like my video, subscribe and I'll keep uploading guys. I'll Anything new or anything I find, I'll upload. Uh, and share with you guys. Sometimes it might not be something I've purchased. It might just be something I find really cool in the shop or in the store and I'll make a quick recording of it. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.